Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial with Baby J. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this smoky eye look. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelid with the concealer from Born This Way. And I'm just going to buff that out with a buffing brush. I'm going to be using Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Blazing to start off. This is going to be like the warm shade that I start off with. I can't pronounce the brown shade, it's O-U-O-U-D, I don't know how to pronounce that but it's the brown shade that I'm applying right now. I'm going to apply that underneath the orange shade. I'm not going to try to put it over the orange shade because I still want it to show, so just put it lower. Now I'm going to be using the Sultry palette by ABH and I'm going to be using the shade Disto Plan. And I'm just going to take my finger and just rub it in and then I'm going to blend it out. I just want to like rub it in first because it just, um, whenever I try patting it in, it takes a longer time to get the pigment that I want. So using my finger gets all the pigment that I want and then I just blend it out uh, how I like it. Now I'm just going to remove the tape that I applied there before. Now taking a baby wipe, I'm going to wipe away the excess eyeshadow that fell when I was blending out my eyeshadow so I can have a clean canvas to work on. I'm now going to be applying mascara because I don't like my, my eyelashes to be so noticeable or I don't want them to be looking droopy under my fake eyelashes so using mascara helps them blend in a little bit more. Using this moisturizer, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's SPF approved and it's a daily moisturizer, so I'm just going to use that underneath my foundation. I usually, whenever I have primer, I usually moisturize my face and then prime it, but today I don't have primer and I don't really see the difference of what primer does, but that's what I'm going to be using before I apply my foundation. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm just going to blend that in with my e.l.f. I haven't been as active on YouTube because I haven't had the motivation to do videos. And I feel like my videos ain't, gonna, ain't getting any better. And I also have my baby now so it's been kind of hard. But anyways, I'm using the Born This Way concealer now. I'm going to be using that to cover up my under eye circles. And I'm going to use it to highlight as well just to give me a more uplifting look under my eyes and a brighter look under I'm going to be um, applying the concealer under my eyes and I'm going to put it on my nose my cupid bow and my chin also my forehead so any of the high points on my face I'm going to be blending it out with my elf cosmetics beauty blender I've been wanting to buy a better camera so I can do um, better YouTube videos for y'all I do want to buy also a backdrop but things been getting in the way I just uh, paid my tuition and I just bought a car so that's been holding me back a little bit from buying a camera but I do want to make sure it's a good quality com camera that's gonna make me proud of my videos I don't feel so proud of my videos that's why I don't be up uploading as much because I do want to have better quality for you guys so it can make my videos more enjoyable to watch and all that but anyways guys i'm always i'm almost done blending out my concealer now i'm going to be taking the air spun powder i'm just going to be applying everywhere i apply the concealer at i like this because i do got oily skin whenever i was pregnant my skin did, wasn't as oily as much i had the perfect skin when i was pregnant i kind of miss being pregnant just because my skin was the bomb but anyways i'm not pregnant no more so now my skin is back that was my son by the way he's really loud but anyways i'm using the abh contour kit and the and medium so i'm just using the warmest shade on the palette and i'm just going to be bronzing my cheeks and bronzing my temples 
just so my forehead don't look as big and now I'm just taking my air spun powder and I'm just going to be sharpening my contour making sure that it doesn't look messy making it more clean now I'm going to be contouring my nose and I just use a brush I'm not that good at contouring my nose but I do just put two lines on the sides then I blend it out and then um, I apply air spun powder on the sides to make by applying the powder on the sides of my nose and in the middle of my nose it stops it from getting as oily as it usually does but it also helps cleaning up the contour now I'm just going to be using all the shades that I use on the top eyeshadow on the lower eyeshadow you don't have to do this because for some people it's too much of heavy makeup but if you like to have dramatic makeup like me this would be it you would love this but I'm just applying all the eyeshadows I applied on my upper eyelid just to give it more definition so my eyes look more bigger and awake now I'm going to be brushing away all the excess powder and then I do take my beauty blender and, and try melting the powder into my skin under my eyes but for under my cheeks I don't do that just because I don't want it to I don't want to look too bright under there I want it to look my normal skin color so right now what I'm doing is melting my powders into my under eyelid so under eyelid what am I saying my under eyes so I, it looks more bright and more matte. Now I'm just gonna, going to be using the highlight just so I could, you know, have a brighter inner eye. And I'm just using the ABH highlight palette. And now I'm using, using my blush from Milani. It's the rose blush. It comes like in a rose shade. Now, I love Homegirl's Beauty Shop packaging. It's so pretty. You can use my code IAMBABYJ. This one is $10 ho. That's what the eyelash is called. But I always put those eyelashes last. So, I don't know why I even showed them in that point of the video. Right now, I'm lining my list with Powder Room Cosmetics Lip Liner. Powder Room Cosmetics has affordable eyelashes. And they're really pretty. They're dramatic. But they're really affordable. And also their lip liners are bomb. Now I'm just going to be using Sepia from ABH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be um, using that around my lips where I apply the brown liner. Um, this is how I do my new lipstick. I can't really do nudes that are like orange because it just doesn't go with my skin color. I feel like it doesn't. Um, in real life, I'm brown. I look whiter because of the lighting, but I'm more caramel. So this works whenever I'm trying to do like a brown look but I also use naked now I'm just going to spray my face and I'm going to apply my highlighter with a beauty sponge whenever I would do my highlight with a brush it would look really harsh but with the beauty blender it just blends in very well and I love it